Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion, The Binding of Isaac, three wins in a row. Maybe we're not as trash as we have been recently, but potentially still pretty bad. Let's go Lazarus, we can get everything checked off on Lazarus here. Ip ooh, because of uh, Eden's Blessing on the last run, we're starting with Ipecac. M2SC, H7, HY. So obviously, like, starting with Ipecac, uh, potentially dangerous, but otherwise, like, incredible. This is a, an unbelievably strong start. Dude, we also have a luck upgrade right off the bat. We're starting with 43 damage. Um, you'll forgive me, perhaps. I always like to throw in perhaps there, because you never know these videos, you know? Sometimes I make a video and I'm like, I played like trash, and then it's... Everyone loves it. Everyone goes, that video was hilarious. And I go, yeah, that was what I meant to happen. It was it was meant to be like a comedy sort of situation. Well, sure. Wait, wait no, 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 no. Doesn't this stop active items from showing up? I always forget which one's which. Dude! Homing Tears. Thank you. Homing Tears and Ipecac. Potentially amazing combination. Um, but anyway, you know, sometimes I make a good video and then people go, oh, the video wasn't very good. Either way, you know, you gotta... Ooh, uh, help. You gotta... Acquiesce yourself a little bit to expectations of what the internet has. The Tears Downgrade is pretty bad, but... We're also doing so well that it doesn't matter. What I was going to say, though, is we don't need to necessarily end our lives as Lazarus uh, to get the damage and luck that we need to succeed. I mean, we're already up there from a luck standpoint, and then from a damage standpoint, I mean, we're doing 43 damage. A tier's downgrade sucked, but life goes on. We should be able to recover uh, a little bit. Where, where is that uh, golden chest back here? We'll pick this up. Our speed is still pretty bad, but I don't know if you get any extra speed from the Lazarus respawn. I think you do not, and I am just selectively forgetting. We're not on an XL floor, so I'll tell you what. We'll play this a little bit. Why play this a little bit? We actually don't need to do Delirium, and we don't need to do Mega Satan. But getting the key pieces is not necessarily a bad idea, nonetheless. And again, you know, if we do die and come back as Lazarus, we do still get stat bonuses. But the only way I want to do that is if we definitely have HP coming from the boss fight. Normally, you want to end your life and come back as Lazarus, because Lazarus' base stats are not that good. But, you know, when you have Ipecac uh, kind of backing you up from the start here, you're in a pretty great spot. We are a little, uh, screwed is not the right word. But we're in kind of a dangerous position because, you know, Ipecac will explode in our face. Homing Tears doesn't necessarily make that better or worse, but, you know, you, you always run the risk, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Come on, where's the... Where's the second secret room? I don't know why I co-opted that accent there, but where's the second... There we go. No complaints necessary any longer. A lot of money. Little HP. We should absolutely go to the shop. Don't get hit here. That would be... I don't want to say embarrassing, but it would be... Unnecessarily stupid. So, our only thing... I haven't even, like, lampshaded the run properly yet. What do we want to do on this run? We want to make sure that we make it to the Hush Fight. And it's the right kind of run to do so, because we've got crazy damage right off the bat. Um, we're also going to go check out our shop here quickly. Everything else we get is just a bonus, I suppose. Five extra cents. Okay. Grab this. Grab this. Grab placebo. Do we need it? No. But, check this out. Grab this. Now we've got unlimited health downgrades. That's enormous. <laughs> it actually is, though, is the thing. Like, uh, here we go. Step on this thing once. See what you get. I was hoping for a red heart, but I'll, I'll take the money instead. Um, why is this so good? Because now we almost don't have a reason to not end our own lives, because we'll get HP back right from the get-go. Mind you, we won't get the red heart that fills the HP up, but hopefully that'll happen here regardless. Like, we could conceivably, and I know we're taking way too long on this first floor, but um, we could conceivably, if we get HP here, go die, get the damage multiplier, and the luck, and the anemia, as little as that's worth. We didn't get HP, but that's still okay. I think you still check this. Magic 8-Ball, Shot Speed Up, the Stars card... I think we do do this. We respawn in the same room as well. We're not fighting an angel statue. We don't want to fight an angel statue. That's a, that's a bad idea. We feel blessed. 
I figured we'd just try to get something out of it. Then we get a health upgrade, and then we'll get the half red heart. Um, we don't want to take the stars card, even though, tr truth be told, we kind of need a key. But this is fine. We don't use placebo productively very often. So I'm actually, I was excited is not the right word, but I'm eager, I'm chomping at the bit for the opportunity to make something happen with this item. Either way, 100% deal with the devil odds right now. Um, easily we can get another health down pill. Obviously health up would be better, but you know, the, the good thing about health down is that situationally it's great for like deals with the devil and stuff like that. But then beyond that, um, if we ever get PhD, we have unlimited health upgrades. So, Pretty stupid. Don't be thinking that just because I'm uh, holding it, it's it's like a meme card or something like that. Because or meme pill, I should say. Because it's really not. Like it's it's actually very good in its own right. Even it, worst case scenario, we've already gotten one HP upgrade out of it, which is an okay deal. Let's see if we can pick up anything else here. Um, don't blow up judgment, please. There's a, a pretty okay chance that we can get something valuable out of this judgment. There we go. Alright, uh, sure. I will take use diaper, which does nothing for us yet, but perhaps one day the, the world will shine on us. Okay. It, it happens. I'm mad, but it does happen. Magic mush? No magic mush. Let's move on here. We don't want to get hit now, because it, it could potentially have catastrophic implications, but it is what it is. I think we go to the shop first, because we got money. And in the shop, you gotta get PhD. Sure, uh, I just rerolled. As soon as I shot, I went, well, you probably screwed it, didn't you? And in indeed we did. Either way, we want a key. Well done. Well, well done off the start there. What do you got here? Rotten baby, great item. Dude, these flies are going to be potent. It's... Like, that's not going to ruin our run, but it does make me feel like a big moron. Because we actually got the item we specifically asked for, and then I was like, you know what? Nah, we don't need it. Not in a good way, though. More in a I'm a moron sort of way. Luckily, mad tinted rocks all over the place. Perhaps another opportunity to get PhD in the future. I don't know. You know what? The thing is... It just would have been too easy if we got PhD, and that's not fun for anybody. I'm thinking about you guys. When I make mistakes like that, the, the thing is, I don't make mistakes, I'm infallible. You know, people always go, well, like, they're a human being, they make mistakes. Well, what if you just, like, tried harder and didn't? Wow. Uh, so we'll take Incubus, and then we'll get a health upgrade, but with no red hearts to back us up. I don't think we take Little Brim. I don't think we take it. I thought about it, and I want you to know that I thought about it. Deep in my soul, I thought about it. But I think it's not the right idea. Strikes me as, like, mildly too dangerous. Keep in mind, we do also have two, um... Help. Yep, that's pretty much exactly what I thought was going to happen there. Keep in mind, we do have two uh, Ipecac shots firing at any given time. One of them is, is a little bit, like, separate from our uh, overall personage, so the damage is going to be outrageous, but I'm very, very concerned about hitting myself. So, you know, the more the merrier as far as hearts go here. We are taking forever to get through this. Okay, we got to go a little faster. We got We got many things to do. Let's put it that way. Let's buy the Steam Sale. It's a great deal. Let's buy a Tarot Cloth. It's a lovely item. Give us the sun right off the bat. Can't hold it, but that's okay. Tarot Cloth is still fantastic, even if we're rolling placebo. Then we come back down here, and this guy's going to give us something. There we go. So... Uh, the speed is pretty important. Apart from that, we're going to move on. Remember, we, we really want to make the hush fight in this run, so I wouldn't necessarily suggest that we're doing a fantastic job right now by uh, taking eight minutes to get through the first two floors when you've got 44 damage, but hey, that's life. Chill out. Leave your comments below. Remember, I'm not trying to go slow. And if we can get a tears upgrade... We will rage. I want to knock out the hush. If you're Hayden, please just shush. 
Cause you, uh, something, something. You know, it's complicated by Avril Lavigne. Lavigna. Check it. All right, so we're waiting for placebo because we can get a health upgrade right off the bat. I mean, there were myriad battery charges we could have used to get a health upgrade on the last floor first, but try not to, you know, <sighs> Jesus. Try not to think about the fact that, uh, you know, if we just picked up PhD, we would actually have like, s excuse me, sir. We'd actually have like seven HP upgrades right now. Maybe, uh, maybe six, but we'd be certainly up there. Would be the way that I would describe it. Might as well take it. Makes no difference in this case either way. Sure, I will take a key bomb. You know why I'm going to take a key bomb? Oh, all of our familiars stick together because of uh, duct tape. That's right. Um, I'm going to take the key bomb because uh, there's a chance that we get super bomb. A low chance, but a chance nonetheless. Dude, um, Incubus, we got to talk, buddy. Because you're firing shots into the into the wall on the regular. And I understand it's not really your fault, but I, I, I would like it if you maybe stuck like a little closer to me. Okay, we got recurring amnesia card if we so desire. Surprise, I don't. Like, why, why are you sticking so far away? We have no interest in a sh uh, shop on this floor. So we might as well just go for it here. Hopefully a deal with the devil. I mean, the thing is, essenti essentially, our, uh, oh my lord. This actually could kill us. I think we have to drop. Uh, yeah, I think we, we want these guys to float on here. So, here, go with that and then take uh, use diaper, even though I don't think it's going to be very good. We're firing a lot more frequently right now, which is very dangerous. It scares me. Curse of the Blind. So, I want to not be taking trinkets that could be like a little dubious for us here. I definitely, in hindsight, what what's the big mistake I've made on this run so far? I would say 100%. Uh, we sh probably should not have taken Incubus. We should have taken Little Brim instead. Because Incubus is, like, extremely great for our damage output, but extremely poor for the uh, odds of us, like, hitting ourselves. So... You know, as a kid, you'd be like, Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. I'm trying. It's not as easy as you might think. On the other hand, let's focus on the positives of Incubus. Uh, namely, that every enemy on planet Earth just gets absolutely destroyed by my homing Incubus uh, and, and Ipecac shots. We've also... You know, after taking eight minutes to get through the first two floors, we've taken like eight seconds to get through the next one. And we're probably going to be right about on schedule uh, for getting to the hush fight. And I think that we have the right kind of hush uh, situation as well. Like, a limited problem uh, hitting ourselves is. I don't know why I'm talking like Yoda. It is a limited problem to be hitting ourselves with potentially unlimited benefit. Okay, three runes. We'll use Degas. Remember, we've got um, we've got Tarot Claw, so the runes are worth twice as much, which doesn't really mean too much for a Hagalaz rune. But oh, two keys over there, I probably could have gotten for a single shot. But let's try not to focus on the negative here too much. I'm looking for Magic Mush. I can feel it coming in the air tonight, oh lord. Keep it going. We managed to put together like a pretty solid last couple of floors. Sure, this is a trinket that, you know, for, for having the ability to hold two trinkets, we're not necessarily crushing it in the trinket department, but I got faith that we're gonna we're gonna turn that around. We should use a bomb here. I think that's an amnesia pill. It's not. Infested. infested. What's better, infested or health down? If you answered uh, infested, get yourself out of here. Sit yourself down as well. It's not It's not good. Not as good as health down, at least. Health down is unlimited HP. 
in a very narrow subset of situations. That's still good, though. Getting a few extra spiders that do admittedly like 100 damage each is also pretty good. You're, we're almost in a situation where like you can't go wrong. Um, so let's be real. I've probably never taken the dunce cap. Is this the right run to do it on? It doesn't matter. We gotta prove ourselves to... Oh, excuse me, sir. We gotta prove ourselves to be the Zane boys. So I think I will take dunce cap, as stupid as it might seem. Figured for a while these would probably pay for themselves at least. We got luck upgrades. It's pretty good. What's the pill? Is it? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> it's a health down. Um, so we'll take the other health down because it's been with us longer. And sure, let's do it, dude. Dunce cap. So this is like terrible, but also potentially hilarious. So it's really now, uh, and, and maybe it has been for a while, but it's a race against time. Can we beat the run before I accidentally ruin my own life? At this point, we don't need the range, we don't need the speed, we don't need spun, we don't need anything. We got a, a, a myriad Skype messages. I, 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 maybe there's some kind of, I think there's a confirmation bias, okay? I think, I think what happens is that, you know, if I get a Skype message, uh, and I know, lol, who still uses Skype. You know why I use Skype? Because anybody on Earth can just message me on Discord. I get... Private messages, I, I use Discord as well. The voice comm in Discord is 20 times better. But, you know, on Discord, I get private messages like five a day from people that just go like, Daddy. They just say, Daddy. It's too much like Twitter. I'm too accessible. You may say, oh, NL, you know, you, you have some respect for the fans. The fans got you where you are. I don't disagree, but that doesn't mean I want... If you send me a message and you go, hey, a big fan, no problem. You send me a message that says, you know glaze my ring daddy and I go all right what's going on here I don't necessarily want to be open to that kind of discourse on a regular basis don't telepills me don't you dare telepills me so we're gonna take dark prince's crown it's garbage it's a garbage item but we also kind of get it for free as a result of this HP so um we're, we're gonna roll with it even then we're gonna pick up the red heart even though the red heart is gonna lower our rate of fire because that's that's how good dark prince's crown is is that it's not good at all, so we'll uh, take it because it's free, but we don't want to enable it. Why not take Dark Judas instead? Well, it's a Lazarus run. Does that answer your question? 2020 uh, Dunce Cap. So I'm really glad I took Dunce Cap because this is proving to be a full-on meme run, but I'm also a little frightened. Perhaps justifiably. I think we leave to ensure that we can make it to the Hush Fight in time because... I mean, let's be real. This is it's looking like we got a pretty good chance to... Let's try to find the second secret room there. It's looking like we got a pretty good chance. But anyway, I think, you know, if I'm not recording, if I see, oh, I got a Skype message, I go check it. When I'm recording, I obviously don't check it. So then all of a sudden, you know, it says you got four new Skype messages. I go, why do people wait until I start recording to message me? I don't think it's literally that people get reminded. That would be a little egotistical. They see, oh, oh, uh... Isaac, baby's playing the Binding of Isaac. Let's uh, start sending him Steam messages. Maybe a little bit. So I just am incapable of accessing secret rooms anymore. On the bright side, uh, and I don't think we want that many. One makes you larger pills. Sorry to say. Um, on the bright side, we're actually like a human wrecking ball here. Amnesia. We, and uh, I, I'm being a little wary about this, but I think it's plausible. We might want to go with the tick because we have uh, the ability to hold two trinkets. Yeah, you know what? Let's take the tick and then we can swap out one trinket anyway. The tick is a decent trinket, that's the thing. Um, what's the other one we want? It doesn't matter. I mean, we have unlimited bombs, but we also don't get much benefit out of the. You know, the stinky shots, I think. Who's alive? Oh, I created one. I think we could do boss rush here. We obviously don't need this, but we'll we'll take it regardless. Uh, to get bookworm. We don't need Aquarius. We got anemia. Why not? It's going to absolutely ruin our rate of fire, but we're going to just have, like, incredible meme shots. And that's what this run's all about at this point. 
is being like really, really strong, but also like, let's be honest, the memes. Since we're gonna do the hush fight, or at least in 10 2, let's come through this way. Ooh, this is so actually great. Um, so I think we're gonna take Diplopia. Which is not always the approach that we take in this situation. I think we're gonna take Diplopia. I'm just gonna buy this. I have enough Spirit Heart, sorry. Check that, okay. Now we can hold the card, so we should have held the Hierophant, but we can hold the Fool card instead. Oh, the it's all becoming extremely clear. First off, get a little donation in here. 653, there's our other luck upgrade with a bomb attached to it. Um, so what do I mean when I say that it's all becoming clear? Well, we are probably, and we could actually take Placebo back after this, but we're probably going to go into the boss fight. Get boss rush. Diplopia the boss rush items, doesn't matter what we take, right? Yeah, we're just going to, hush is the only thing that matters, so go here. Um, honestly, it's not the world's greatest supply. But if we want to duplicate an item, I think we want to duplicate little Gertie. And we'll take this, and then we'll take this, and then the other two are active items. Which we might as well take one before we leave, even though it's not that relevant. Okie dokie. You're seeing what's happening here. So we got two uh, mini monstros there. Sorry about that, Demon Judgment. Didn't even think about the, the repercussions for my actions there, and that's that's my mistake. But remember the wise words of Avril Lavigne. Chill out! What for? We're going to go back this way. We're going to take Placebo again. We're going to grab this health downgrade, even though we don't think we're probably ever going to use it. We're going to hope to get our shop to 666, the number of the beast. Maybe we'll get some kind of upgrade as a result. No? Okay. Just in greedier, I guess. More donations never hurt anybody. And we got the magician or health down. We should roll health down, but we might actually just prefer to... I, I can't. I can't hit anything, so we'll move along. Uh, it's great, though. It's a great situation. Most important thing, just don't mess up. You don't need to do anything special except ensuring that you absolutely go to the hush fight. And then after that, the world's your oyster. You could completely screw it up. And it would be inconsequential. So, real talk, uh, Dunce Cap was a horrible pickup that cursed us. Because if we didn't have Dunce Cap, every enemy would die as soon as we entered every room. Because we have Dunce Cap, we technically fire twice as many shots, but like one eighth as many actually end up hitting. Don't don't run the numbers on that. You'll just embarrass yourself. We 100% absolutely should be unescapably completely fine. The damage output that we have is not unparalleled. It has been paralleled before, but it, it's not perpendicular either. Like, we are extremely safe. This feels like a, a, a self-sacrifice room. Wow, dude. Little Chubby almost got it there. It's not a little Chubby, you know what I mean. Well, it's not a secret room at all, is there? A special room of any variety. I'm especially, and this might sound like posturing, but I'm especially kind of unconcerned about the Hush fight because uh, he's a very easy enemy to hit. Which is what we need in, our, in this, uh, this time. Could use a better pill though. You know, I, I appreciate, game gave me the opportunity to pick up some extra HP and there's you know, respect given and respect taken for that. However, wouldn't, excuse me? Uh, it's not that good, but I'll, I mean, why not take it, I suppose? Well, there is a good reason. If we get a better, well, there's not a good reason, there is a reason. If we get a better familiar later, 
Uh, it'll be further back in the chain, but sure, why not? Add a, as big of a trail follow me as possible. I want better pills. That's what I was trying to say there when I, I got distracted. Like, what's this one? Health up. That's just actually demonstrably 20 times better than health down. Health down, you served your purpose, now ta-ta. Get out of here, we don't need you anymore. Ideally then, what do we want to see here? Infinite deals with the devil. Just give me a deal with the devil, or like get a black market on the next floor or something that allows me to go buck wild. All right, so this is the money maker right here. Took us 14 minutes to beat like nine floors. We got six keys. So six keys means we should open the item rooms first. We have to go scapular. I'm sorry, Stuart. Okay, your item, the sprinkler, it's a lovely item. It's fantastic. In this situation, though, it would be a cataclysmic. We'll go for the fire rate increase. Range upgrade, not necessary. So then we're going to peep our shop. Our shop does have a key, but it also has a compass. So I'm going to take the compass instead of the key. If anything, our range is actually too high. Bombs are key. Beautiful. Actually, like, completely what we would have wanted. Open this up. Get some more money. Certainly we don't need any more keys now. Um, do we want converter? It's not necessary. High Priestess is not good enough. I'll just call that out. Bad trip. Doesn't really matter. Why? It didn't matter what you bought there, but why buy that? <laughs> All right. You know, the one real benefit to this run, beyond probably destroying Hush, is uh, we picked up items we probably don't want to pick up on other runs. Like, Dunce Cap is not always going to be an easy take for us. And then beyond that, we also have uh, Dark Prince's Crown, which is another tough pill to swallow on a lot of runs, just because it's way too expensive for the benefit that it actually gives most of the time is zero. Um, some of the time is, you know, slightly above zero. So I'm trying to get uh, Rotten Baby to aggro here. Yes, I wanted to say acquiesce, so sue me. Come on, dude. Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby. How? There we go. Okay, so now that we got Rotten Baby aggroed, it's a little bit of lead time to make it happen, but the hope is that obviously we get more of them in the future. And hopefully a little faster. Rotten Baby actually has, like, worse vision than me. Makes sense. You know, his eyes are flies. But I, I do find myself uh, mildly annoyed. Where are we going to go on this one? Obviously, you know, we have the Polaroid, so we're probably going to go down to the standard path. We haven't had too many standard runs lately. A lot of, a lot of Mega Satan attempts. A couple Delirium attempts thrown in there. Feels good to be back in the saddle again here. Yeah, stop running into your own shots, ideally. Not quite the, as fast of a hush, a hush run as I expected here, but... Dude, you know what would 100% ruin this run forever and leave us, you know, cold and lonely as we, you know, died in the loam here? Uh, shielded Tears. If we get, like, Curse of the Blind Shielded Tears, we will lose this run. And I, I just don't know if there's any way... That was a panic bomb, but... I don't know if there's any way that we could get around that if it happened. Now, I'm not going to waste too much time, you know, worrying about a uh, an extremely low percentage chance like that, but... Although we have been hit on this hush fight, we've gotten pretty lucky to not be hit more frequently, I think. Right, right, right. So we can't shoot when we're dodging this, because we'll walk into our own shots. Right? As mentioned. Dude! It's way harder than you would think right now, actually. Can I get a Rodden Baby, please? I need a Rodden Baby for protection detail. Thank you. We might actually die. Where's your health up now? 
No! Go away! We did it! <laughs> Ooh, empty vessels appeared in the basement. Uh, look, when I deserve garbage, I'll be the first to tell you, hey, that was garbage. In this case, I don't think I deserved garbage. I think we just ate garbage. Because the run sucks. <laughs> Not, okay, that's, that was rash. The run actually does not suck. What I mean is that it's very difficult to not hurt yourself. Like, even this room has me extremely rattled right now. I have no bombs. And I must scream. I'm so mind flooded. I like I never want to shoot because I'm I'm too scared. Might as well use it. There's no reason not to. Give me hearts. Give me hearts. These are not hearts. I'm trying. I can't even I'm not even sure if I can shoot to get into the secret room there because I'm worried that the shot will kill me. Yo. This is... Either way, we accomplished our goal, but this is freaking me out, dude. Just give me some red hearts. Rotten baby, thank you. Okay, so we're, we just have to accept we're never going to get a red heart as long as this run exists. As long as we accept that, then we can't be mad when we die. Because, uh, you know, what do we expect? Spirit heart. That's all we need. Oh. Oh, but your rate of fire. Yeah, okay. But my rate of fire. You got me. Wish there was a way to activate Rodden Baby without shooting. Dude, I totally forgot we had the compass. I mean, we did just buy it on a floor where we couldn't really use it at all, but... Your boy almost went in a wrong direction for no reason. There we go. Okay, so we probably just earned ourselves the W. But yeah, that was uh, actually horrifying. I couldn't shake the specter in my head of like me accidentally ruining another winning run. And the, the sad thing is it would have come down to Incubus. Sure, I took damage I probably shouldn't have taken against the Hush, but I do resist the notion that like, oh, if you're good at Isaac, you should just never take damage against anything. I don't think that's true. Some of these attacks are like percentage dodges. And I stand by that. Great item. Uh, it exists. Sure, we, I mean, it's survivability. We could use it. All right, check your map, dude. It's down there. This could be the right way. This is what we needed. We needed, like, something to scare us a little bit. Hopefully, scare us into having better habits. But ultimately leave us, you know, like, with a, a really good win. And by the way, like, enormous shout-out to Eden's Blessing on this run for absolutely hooking us up in the largest way conceivable. Maybe one of the most transformative starting items you could ever ask for in your entire Isaac career. And we got it. And a shout out to Incubus for proving that even great items can be terrible. In the wrong hands, at least. We don't need the speed. Or, I, let me put it this way. We could probably use the HP, but it's going to push Spirit Hearts out of the way. Um, we don't care about a speed downgrade. We could absorb it. That's, you know, I said we don't need the speed. What I meant was almost the exact opposite, but you get the idea. So we're not going to use the HP upgrade, because, if anything, we actually need... Uh, 
less HP containers, more red hearts for the time being. Either way, here comes what seems to be an easy W. Will you fight Delirium on this run? If you get the opportunity? Uh, I don't know, because like I feel like during the Hush fight, my heart almost stopped. Kind of, for morale purposes, might be nice to just not put the streak number into question, because even though it doesn't mean anything, you know, it feels good. It makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. We don't need that second secret room. Get that Aladdin music out of here. That's what we need. And a two of hearts never hurt anybody either. Especially with the... Uh, tarot cloth backing us up. Unfathom fathomably powerful. Of course I'll do it. I have to. Let's see what's going on in the Skype group. Rob, says Sinvicta. Yes, sir, says Rob. That was 22 minutes ago. No messages since. I know I shouldn't be detailing the private messages of our crew, especially when they're as uh, sensitive as that, but... What can I say? Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because we can. And you know what? It's good for morale. Plus, uh, if I'm being 100% honest with you, we got uh, two of hearts, which means... Two of hearts tarot cloth essentially means that we can come back from like zero HP to infinity. Or even from 93 till infinity. If requested. Where's Delirium? Uh, I This is one of those runs... It happens, where I don't really care if we fight Delirium first, last, or never. I don't know how we would fight him never. I guess we would have to die. So you know what? I do care if we fight him never. Oh, what a reminiscent boss fight. This feels, I don't know, somehow familiar as if I've just done this fight two minutes ago. Uh, prayer card, irrelevant. Probably. Loki. Extremely easy. That one at least gives us a hard container. And it's Delirium already. Okay. I think this is good. And again, I think we have a really, really well tailored run to uh, killing enemies that have, like, single enemies with tanky HP bars. Did that work well against Hush? Honestly, it worked a lot worse than I thought it would, but I think half of that was just me being a, a moron and walking into my own shots on the regular. So I can't really blame the game for the actions of a player, you know? And the real question is when the heck do we use two of diamonds? And I think the answer is well, what, let's see, we have 11 HP. So if we use it at 4 HP, we'll have more than enough. If we use it at 3, we should have more than enough. So I think 3 is the right number. 3 will take us to 12. I know we only have 11, so... Um, I, think, I think that makes it the right call. 4 would take us to 16, which means we could easily get one more hit out of it. We're not going to need to use it anyway. We should probably just use it after we defeat Hush, to, or defeat Delirium, to prove that we were the superior being. Or maybe we should not get so cocky because the exact same thing that happened on the Hush fight looks like it could happen again here. And we could find ourselves uh, a little scared, but... How are you not dead? You're dead. Like, yeah, there we go. Alright, we'll pop it. Wonderful. Here we go. Good run. Great Lazarus run. Thank you, Eden's Blessing. And I think Lazarus is now taken care of. For now, thanks for watching. Starting to build some confidence. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.